Okay, Alan borrowed $3,600 from his father to buy a car. He repaid him after four months with interest of 8% per year. Well, again, this is simple interest. Find the total amount he repaid. Okay, so as before, let's go through the problem and pick out the relevant information. Okay, so he borrowed 3,600. That's our starting amount. So the principal is 3,600. He repaid him after four months. Okay, now this is different. The last two problems from the previous video, time was given in years. So our formula for simple interest, I equals P times R times T. Now, if you put a four in, if you put a four in for T, well, the formula doesn't know you're talking about months or years or days. So to be consistent, T has to be always in years. T is in years. So if the time is not given in years, you have to convert. If it's given in months, you have to convert from months to years. If it's given in days, you have to give in, con convert from days to years. So four months is less than one year. So our time will be four months out of the 12, four out of 12. And we could reduce that to one over three. Okay, so four months, there's 12 months out of, 12 months in the year, so he repaid them after part of the year, and the part is four out of 12, or four over 12. Okay. And then the interest rate of 8% per year. Okay, remember we have to convert the percent to a decimal, so divide by 100, 0 0.08. Okay, so let's plug this into our interest formula. Interest equals the principal times the rate, 0 0.08, times the time, which is 1 over 3. Okay, rem remember, fraction means division. So when we're, when we're typing this into the calculator, it's 3,600 times 0 0.08 times 1 divided by 3. Okay, let's pull up the calculator. So that's 3, 6. Ooh, let's turn it on. 3,600 times 0 0.08 times the fraction 1 third. So times 1 divided by three. Okay, 96 bucks. It shouldn't be much interest because it's only for part of a year. It's only for four months. Okay, so our interest is $96. Interest is $96. So you're paying back the original 3,600 plus the interest. So Find the total amount he repaid. The total amount should be $3,696. Okay, one more. Let's do one more of these. Okay. Jamil's savings account has a balance of $3,030. After nine months, what will be the amount of interest be at 5.1% per year? Okay, now this is not a very realistic problem. Banks will never give you 5.1%. If you find a bank that will give you 5.1%, just put all of your money into that bank and never touch it. Um, banks usually pay you 0.5%, something like that. But for the sake of the problem, uh, let's go through in the same way as before. He has a balance of $3,030. So our principal amount 
is 3,030. After nine months, so again, just like in the previous problem in number three, we cannot use nine for T because our, in our formula, that will be interpreted as nine years. Remember, once it's in the formula, it's years. So if you put the number nine in, that means nine years, not nine months. Principal times rate times time. Okay, so the time is nine months out of the year, out of the whole 12. So the time will be nine over 12, or we could reduce that if you want. We're using a calculator, so you don't have to reduce it, but I always will. Uh, three over four. And the interest rate is 5.1%. So when we convert that to a decimal, when we divide by 100, our interest rate will be 0 0.051. Okay, so let's put this into our formula for interest. Interest is equal to principal times rate, 0 0.051, times time, which is 3 over 4. Okay, so pulling up the calculator, $3,030 times 0 0.051 times the fraction 3 fourths, so times 3 divided by 4 equals. Okay, so now we have a decimal here, and since we're talking about money, you always, unless the directions state otherwise, you always round to two decimal places. That's the nearest penny. So we have $115.8975. So one one five point eight nine seven five. Let me just double check that. One five eight nine seven five. Yep. Okay, and we're rounding to two decimal places. Always to the nearest penny. So since this is a seven, it'll round that nine up to a ten. So our interest rounded to the nearest penny should be, we'll round the 89 cents up to 90, $115.90. Now, unlike the previous problem, we're not asked for the total amount in his accounts. So be careful with whether or not you're going to add this number. It depends on what the problem is asking. Now, in this case, what will the amount of interest be? Just interest, not the total amount. What will the amount of interest be? So we're done here. We're done at $115.90.